Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome back to another Uta My Cross tutorial video. This time around we are going to break down the brand new event. So it's the Choginga Soryoku Live and it's all about raid bosses. So if you guys are familiar with raid bosses in any of the other mobile games out there, it's pretty much the same thing. But you know, because I think Macross gamers um or music gamers in general uh, are not familiar with this raid boss system because usually this particular system is only available in those games that um, have characters that actually do fight with a sword and shield, guns, lasers, whatever and so forth. So having a raid boss in a music game is pretty interesting. We never really seen it happen before maybe I don't know I've not seen it before because maybe I didn't play any other music uh, mobile app game out there maybe like Idol Master or Idolish 7 or something like that so <laughs> guys let's talk about how Dana has implemented the raid boss system into Uta Macross so first thing off you see that there are brand new banners for the raid boss system uh, of course if you tap it you know that kind of stuff you you actually go into a, a lobby um, which is known as the Macross lobby you can access it by tapping the banner here or the normal way that I think most people will probably go into it is this button right here at the bottom left which is a bit translucent uh, right now there is an exclamation mark there because there is something that I can actually claim uh, from the Macross lobby itself Alright, so we're going to tap the normal way of entry. Alright, when you tap it, it will show you this gigantic button full of colors uh, which says here in Japanese text, Macross Lobby. So let's tap that, we're going to go into the lobby and of course, first thing, we're going to familiarize whatever is in the lobby itself. Alright, so let's talk about the buttons on the left hand side first. If you guys have watched my live broadcast on Macross space time the culture you probably know most of the buttons here already so guys uh, just a quick reminder if you guys have not joined us on Macross space time the culture uh, which is the fan group I'm administrating do join us there the link of the fan group is in the description down below and of course make sure you like my Facebook page for my YouTube channel also in the description down below Alright, so the first blue button here, which is glowing, is what we are looking at, which is the main chat for the uh, Macross Lobby itself. Now, the Macross Lobby is only accessible to you after you have actually started the game and decided to choose between two factions that you can join. Now, I'm going to leave images here of the two factions that you can join, which is basically Elto and Brera from the Macross Frontier series. I think currently the event is mainly focusing on Macross Frontier, that's why the factions belong to these two dudes. Um, if it was from any other generations of Macross, it might be a different character. So yeah, alright, so once you've chosen uh, either Elto or Brera, do take note, the faction you are in cannot be changed. So you have to choose wisely. Maybe um, talk with your friends who actually play Uta Macross with you and discuss. Um, I'm going to be in Elto's team because so on and so forth. Or maybe uh, if your friend is deciding to go to Elto but you want to be belong to Brera, maybe you want to persuade them to be in Brera because you actually need more people to help you when it comes to this particular event. So the more friends you have and even the same faction, gonna be a good thing all right so the next button here which is the red one that shows like some kind of magnifying uh, uh, icon is basically your battle log so whatever each party member within the faction does as you can see all the different members here um, they played certain songs on what difficulty level that kind of stuff is recorded down including your own so that you can see I'm, I have already done my part Alright, so battle log is basically all the actions that you've taken throughout the event uh, being recorded down for everyone to see. So at least they know that you've been hardworking and that kind of thing so they will reward you maybe with a decor 
points, uh, which we'll talk about in a moment. Um, yeah, and the last tab, which here has like some kind of a small piece of paper with lines scribbled on it, is the note tab. Now, the note tab, apparently in my faction, nobody uses it because um, they would rather just use the normal chat. Now the note tab is basically a tab for you to strategize your stuff while the chat button is basically for you to talk nonsense in it. But apparently everybody just uses the main chat because it's just convenient. Alright, so the button here, alright, that once you touch it, it says off and on. Um, it's basically the button that lets you uh, privatize your actions within the event itself. Maybe you have a certain friend within the uh, faction that you don't really like and you don't want them to know that you're playing the game so you turn the button off so the game will not record your battle log <laughs> all right so other than that the pink button at the top is basically for you to return to the home menu on Utah Macross all right and this button here that you normally see on the live uh, yeah it lets you change the icons from the diva you're using to the medal that you have equipped on your profile card. Pretty nifty, um, I guess if you want to show off your uh, glorious medals that you have worn throughout the past events. Alright, the refresh button basically, yeah, is to refresh in case you, you are waiting for a particular reply from a particular friend, uh, that kind of thing. And of course, the number here is the quantity of Macross cannon charges that you have uh, ready. So I have zero charge at the moment and I have some percentage of the bar being charged. Alright, so once the bar maxes out, of course you will gain one charge. Currently, I do not know what is the maximum amount of charge that you can retain. Just on standby, that kind of stuff. So pay close attention because Macross Cannon is the most important thing when it comes to uh, beating or ranking within this event itself. Alright, so the next button, which is the one that has the exclamation mark, it means that I have something to claim. So guys, we're going to tap on it and we're going to take a look at all the items that can be claimed from this, um, I would say, mission. Alright, so as you can see, the date for the mission um, is available at the top left hand corner, so do take note of the dates. And of course, whenever you see a bracket in the front, all right, this t you have to recognize these Japanese texts by now. It basically means daily. So these missions are daily missions. If if the text doesn't prompt you, well, the time that it resets actually does tell you that it's a daily mission. So make sure you claim them. Also, I'm going to just briefly describe what these missions are. So pay close attention here right now. So these three missions are a uh, un unified um, collaboration between you and all your me uh, faction members um, for completion. So whatever your faction members do will affect the results of these three missions which is very, very fantastic because it's going to help you um, claim all these wonderful goodies much faster as long as all the members actually play their part in doing all the missions uh, requirements. Alright, so Alright, the first line is basically here, this one, um, it's, it's just saying what I just said, your, your faction members or your, your lobby members are just going to help you clear it. Um, then of course you need to play Macross Frontier songs and clear them 50 times. As you can see, 50 is a pretty big quantity, so that's why you need everyone to participate together to complete it and uh, claim those rewards. The second one same thing so but you need to do full combos 30 times the last one um, Valkyrie operations if you are not familiar by now what a VOP is is basically what whenever you send your teams of Valkyries out to claim items that kind of stuff that is a Valkyrie operation in short is a VOP um, you have to clear them 30 times and then of course this thing will be cleared instantly. So if you're wondering what are these items, well basically this is a fold radar. Uh, fold radar. So these are used to actually summon out raid bosses um, during the time that this event is going on. What is this then? It is an active at the large size. 
Now the active ether is a very important item because they are basically your singing stones and your uh, energy ethers uh, during any other event where you need to recover energy to play songs. Well, the red bosses use um, AP instead of energy so yeah, um, AP is very crucial. Um, so these items are extremely extremely rare and most important towards the event. Alright, so AP, yes, as you can see here, there's a whole bunch of tags. Um, so they, they even mentioned that the ether is used only for this event uh, participation. And of course, um, it recovers 3 AP. Alright, and it has a special text at the bottom which only belongs to the large ether which is basically the next participation of the, uh, the, the event. All right? So if you play a song after using this ether, you will gain a Macross Cannon Charge of 1.4 Multiplier. So it is going to help you re uh, charge up your Macross Cannon much faster. But sadly to say, it's only, um, I would say, obtained um, through the next participation in the event itself all right so it's not a it doesn't have a timer thing that kind of thing where you can just continuously to charge your macross cannon faster and faster uh, sadly to say it's only the next song that you're going to play then it's going to give you that multiplier so yeah all right so i'm going to claim all three of these goodies all right so here we go Alright, so that's pretty much it for the Macross Lobby. Um, the pink button here is basically leading you into the event page itself. So let's go take a look at the event page. Um, it will light up only when the event is activated. So as you can see, I have no red bosses on the screen right now because I'm I purposely uh, delayed myself from actually summoning a red boss and leaving it there just for this tutorial um, all right so we're gonna break down the whole menu system here on the main event page um, all right so same thing macross charge uh, quantity is here as you can see and there's a whole bar here for you to fill up uh, to obtain that one single charge and the AP is represented by three crystals now if you're wondering what the small diamonds are at the back um, they basically are there for you in case you decided to recover your AP and it goes beyond the max quantity of 3. As you can see, I am not recovering any more AP even though there is 2 slots at the back. Alright, so AP is maxed out at 3. Um, I will show you guys how long it takes to recover an AP in just a moment. Uh, so just be patient and of course they show you the quantity of singing stones that you have because singing stones are actually are also used for uh, recovering AP which you're gonna use a lot for this event I I cannot emphasize this enough this event is a grind fest you need singing stones and your uh, active ethers to, to to successfully rank well in this particular event Alright, so plus buttons here are basically leading you to the shops to buy singing stones. Here we go. Then of course, there is the plus button for the Macross Cannon because there is a way for you to charge the Macross Cannon. Now, the whole bunch of text here basically means um, in order for you to recover the gauge for the Macross Cannon, you need an item called the Captain's Medallion. Alright, so how do you actually gain the Captain's Medallion? Well, the Captain's Medallion is obtainable through the daily missions within the event page itself. Yes, it's a separate mission compared to the one you've seen just uh, in a moment ago in Macross Lobby. So here we go, we have the mission tab. We're going to tap this. And of course, this is the, uh, the Captain's Medallion that you need for your Macross Cannon Charge. So we're going to uh, claim this in a while, but let me explain to you guys what the missions are uh, in general so that you can have a, a rough grasp of what to do to complete them within the short time period of this particular event which is basically just three days. The event is going to end today that I'm making the video. Um, yeah, so it's just a few hours before the event ends. So it's kind of a bummer. Alright, so the daily missions for the events missions. Here we go. 
Alright, you just need to summon an enemy one time. So you just need to use your uh, radar to call out a raid boss if you have not done so before. And that's it. You will get the Captain's Medallion. <laughs> the second one, alright, that gives you the medals that you need for the Chaos Exchange to get those wonderful rewards. Um, fire the Macross Cannon once. Yes, so you just need to claim the med uh, Captain's Medallion, recharge your Macross Cannon, fire the Macross Cannon, and you clear the second daily mission. The last one is basically using the Fold Radar once, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, oh, okay, sorry, the Captain's Medallion is actually to defeat an enemy, sorry. So that's that's my bad on translation. So this is to summon, this is to summon, and then the, the, the Captain's Medallion is to defeat an enemy, so yeah. So you just have to defeat a red boss and uh, it doesn't have to be your red boss, it might be your friend's red boss that's uh, in the lobby waiting for uh, assist assisting. So yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go down. Now, as you can see, I've I've actually completed most of the missions already. Now, the, the funny thing about um, Ultai Macross right now is, in the past, they did not record every single mission that you've actually um, cleared. So now it's kind of a whole mess right below. So I'm just gonna briefly explain to you what are the missions that you actually need to do. Um, it's just that each of the missions are the same um, with a different amount of quantity implemented into it. So okay, we'll start from this batch. Um, so yeah, defeating enemies. So you from the quantity that is indicated here, as you can see, it says one, then followed by two, three, five, so on and so forth. Alright, so just basically it. So you just have to keep grinding the event and you will clear these missions easily. Alright, so moving on to the next set, which is this one. Macross Cannon Usage. So as you can see, it says here, 1 usage of Macross Cannon, 3 usage, so on and so forth. Now if you're wondering, how in the world am I supposed to get so many charges of the Macross Cannon uh, when the event is only 3 days long? So the most you are going to do is three free macross cannon charges and that's it so where are the rest of the charges going to come from well basically whenever you play uh, an event song it will give you a boost of five percent so i will leave a video recording here of me uh, claiming the five percent charge um do take note that there is a chance of a 7% charge even though you did not use the large ether where they will give you the 1.5 uh, 1.4 multiplier there is a very slim chance that you will gain a 7% charge instead of a 5% charge so pretty fantastic stuff all right so yeah so just take note of the quantity and whatever japanese text that says macross cannon or enemy it's pretty noticeable all right so the next bunch of missions here as we, as we go down um, you know accumulative damage towards the enemy so it's like 1000 uh, impact points uh, 5000 10,000 50,000 so on and so forth so you get the drift so basically all these missions are pretty much the same thing just that they require a different quantity uh, all together all right the next batch of missions which is your main missions itself so play event songs from the event three times six times nine times so on and so forth so you catch the drift um, pretty easily right now so all right that's pretty much it for the missions hopefully you guys understand what you need to do for this event um sadly to say by the time you watch this video the event has probably ended so at least now you are prepared for the next event uh when the red boss event comes back again and why I say it might come back soon enough, well, um, I will get back to it in uh, just a moment. So let's complete uh, breaking down this particular event page first before I give you the, the more tips and tricks towards this event. Alright, so the rewards for the events um, placing is pretty unique compared to all the other events we've seen so far. As you can see, I'm currently placed at 751. It's not the best ranking. But it's pretty me mediocre as to someone who hasn't really been grinding the event. So yeah, um, the top placing nowadays is still uh, first to 100. 
but they decided to widen the differences between the top 100 placings so as you can see the first to 10 placing you get this bunch of rewards um of course the the brand new six star episode plate for this event is also available here and it's a six star plate straight away off the bat it is not a five star plate where you have to evolve it later on which is pretty fantastic all right if you guys want to see the full stats of this episode plate um all is viewable on the Uta Macross official wiki page. Um, yeah, so I'll leave the link of the wiki page in the description down below as well. Alright, and of course we have 6,000 of the medals which is fantastic because in order for you to exchange one of these episode plates in the Chaos Exchange Room, you need 6,000 medals. So first time placing instantly gets two pieces of this 6 star episode plate if you want to think of it that way. And of course, the wonderful resources that you have um, for your Valkyrie tune-up later on. And not forgetting this very, very cute trophy that you can have uh, added to your Decoucher room. Um, sadly to say, the trophy actually is just a pretty item added to your room. It doesn't do anything. Uh, it doesn't provide any resources. It doesn't do any charges, that kind of stuff. So it's just a, it's a very pretty decorative item. Alright, so if we move down, as you can see, the, ten, the 11 to 100 placing, the quantity of the rewards are reduced, and so on and so forth. So yeah, so even up to the 200 placing, the 500 placing, uh, yeah, 500 placing is the, 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 the lowest you can go that you still get the golden uh, trophy. Yeah, but of course, you are missing the episode plate that is rewarded to like the first top 100 players. Alright. And of course, be placing below 500 where, where I'm currently at, I'm at this this portion, so I'll get the silver trophy and all these rewards. 2,500 medals is not a lot. It's gonna it's gonna take a lot of grinding to just get the remaining um, 350, uh, sorry, 3,500 medals for the episode play itself. So that's kind of a bummer. So what is the best placing that you can actually get? Um, to feel comfortable, I guess it's here. Uh, if you're just aiming for the trophy, um, it's the 10,000 to the 15,000 placing. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So guys, if you are the kind that don't have time to grind, especially due to work and studies, uh, do take note on the placing that you, you want to achieve for yourself, you know, just for the rewards and all the goodies itself. Alright, moving on, we're gonna talk about the buttons here and the ones at the top. Whoops, at the top here. So, as you can see, I have just tapped this. Now, basically, this is for you to summon out a red boss if you have not done so. As you can see, there is no red bosses on the main menu, therefore, I have not summoned a red boss yet. Then, that's why this button is lighted up. If you have already got a red boss here, this button will not be in use at all. So I have 25 radars on hand. Yes, you can tell that I have been stocking up, but apparently I haven't been using them fast enough in order to clear out. So guys, even though the fold radar has a pretty low drop rate, I think it's fine because you, I don't think you can actually grind fast enough to completely use out all the fold radar. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna summon out a red boss. Uh, just to show you guys uh, how it is done. I'm sure by now most of you are probably familiar. Oh wow! I didn't expect to actually obtain one of the rare red bosses. Now, there are two versions of the red bosses. What you're seeing here right now on the screen. These red bosses have a very short duration time. So you need to clear this red boss within the time limit before it actually disappears. And yeah, the EX version of the live red boss um, live appeal sorry um, the EX version of the red bosses um, they do give very very fantastic rewards I will have a screenshot here of another red boss that I helped defeat uh, that belong to the EX category the rewards are absolutely wonderful not a lot but still better than what you will normally see um, okay so first off um, uh, let me just show you guys how you can actually uh, get your friends to help you uh, assist you with defeating the red boss itself. So first of all, we're going to break down this 
menu here and we're gonna tell you how you can actually understand what this is for. So the person who summoned out the red boss, the icons will be here, the medal attached to their profile and the diva they're currently using. The player's name and of course their current rank. I am currently platinum one star. I haven't really been playing so frequently on the main song so that's one of the reasons why I'm so ranked so low. Um, the rank of the boss is double S minus. Alright, it can go up to triple S, so this is a mediocre EX red boss, which is pretty okay, but the rewards are still fantastic. The pink button, the pink icon here, beside the pink button, um, that shows the number zero, is basically the people that participated with this red boss. Now, the people who participated with the red boss will reap rewards from the red boss itself once it's defeated. Of course, at the bottom of the um, the whole stack is actually the HP of the boss and of course the pink button lets you go in to take part with this red boss now there's this grayed out icon here all right it's basically to tell you that you have not participated with this red boss just yet so guys we're gonna do this um, we're gonna um, participate with the red boss but how am I gonna do it I'm gonna do the Macross cannon way because uh, 140,000 HP is pretty a lot. It's gonna take a while for us to defeat and we've only got an hour. So do take note, the EX raid bosses only have an hour duration. For any of the normal raid bosses out there, they actually have a 6 hour duration. So that's pretty fantastic uh, if you want to casually play the event. So let's charge up. Oh, I haven't claimed the medal. So let's go claim the medal. Alright, so as you can see, the daily rewards have changed position because I've actually used the uh, fold radar to summon out a red boss, therefore completing the daily mission that I mentioned earlier. Alright, so we've cleared everything. Okay, and we're going to charge up the Macross Cannon with the Captain's Medallion right now. There we go, so I've got a full charge and they will show you the button to fire the Macross Cannon. So let's do so by tapping the button. Okay, so make sure you actually select the correct red bosses. Make sure you highlight the, the line is touching the red boss that you wish to activate the Macross Cannon on. Don't don't end up wasting your Macross Cannon on another red boss that's probably got like lower amount of HP. Alright, tap the button and you can see straight away they will tell you how they calculate your damage for your Macross Cannon. So as you can see, my total damage right now is around the 6, 69,812 damage range. How they calculate it? Well, they calculate it with the star element bonus with 20% to their damage inclusion, Macross Frontier series bonus, and of course, the 100 plates that they've used to calculate your total damage. Now, there are some plates out here that have not been fully maxed out. As you can see, I've got like some lower level episode plates that are not maxed out. And then of course, there are some 5 star plates that are not fully evolved. So if you want to improve the damage, you definitely want to go and evolve those plates, maybe with a rarity star or go and pull gachas to evolve them. It's just another way of Dana trying to entice you to waste money and pull the gacha. So anyway guys, let's go fire the Macross cannon. Let's do so. Alright, as you can see, the number of damage is actually increased as compared to the damage that they show you at the top right hand corner when the Macross Cannon page was shown. And of course, my ranking improved because the current ranking system for the Red Boss event depends on the total amount of damage or impact points that you have given to all the Red Bosses out there. So this is a grind fast event. In order to rank well, you have to keep grinding and keep firing those Macross Cannons. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna exit out. Now, firing the Macross Cannon doesn't actually show you the standard way of asking friends um, to, to assist you. Because normally when you go in and play the song itself for the event, um, they will give you a pop-up screen, which I'm gonna show you guys right here. Uh, it's an alternate method of having uh, sent out the friend assist. Alright, so we're going to tap this blue button here. This is what you will normally see after you've played the song when it comes to assisting a friend on the red boss. You will see this particular options. Now, 
I won't translate everything here. I only want to uh, take. I want you to take note of two um, rows of Japanese text, which is the first two. All right, this two. Now the first line basically is send help to anyone in the Macross lobby. The second one, if you want to take it, you can. All right, basically just says to prioritize friends only. So they will only send requests to your friends and your friends live. Uh, friends list now if your friends are the very active ones then maybe you want to do that uh, or maybe you just want to benefit your friends only and not other strangers but for me personally i would just want help from anyone because sometimes not everybody is free to play you know that kind of stuff so i'm going to send it out all right so there we go and people who are within the same faction and the um, same macross lobby you can see these are the people that they've sent the request to these people are going to help assist you to defeat the red boss hopefully within the time limit uh, and of course during the time that i'm recording this video i'm a bit anxious because i don't know whether i can finish recording this video in time to go and try and grind um this particular uh, red boss <laughs> to reap its rewards so anyway guys all right so to break down the rest of what is shown here all right the top portion here shows you the kind of red boss it is so it's a tori no ningen so it's a humanoid version uh bird humanoid version of a red boss um yeah and the the rest of the japanese text here that i'm highlighting right now basically shows you the amount of red bosses um currently shown in the, the event uh, page um, which you can actually see by scrolling whenever there's a whole bunch of people uh, summoning raid bosses and a lot of stuff. So then there is the special uh, life appeal missions um, that you need to clear. Like if you're familiar with the second event of the month, basically the mission style event, um, this is pretty much the same thing. So you gain a, a song point bo bonus, I suppose, um, plus 50%. If you meet the requirements here so the one here says uh, clear the song so this is the easiest one that you can probably get now if we tap the question mark and um, enter the the tutorial page when you first enter the event you will see like there is this page here let me just show you guys all right yeah here so it'll show you that there is a whole different grade of um, missions that you can actually um, see now these missions are actually randomized, so you, you can't actually choose um, whichever percentage bonus you want. It's all randomized along with the, the red boss that you summon out. So guys, pay attention to that. Alright, so there is another page previously here. This is the one um, that we need to talk about because it's not shown on anywhere else. Alright, these are the things that you need to pay attention to when it comes to trying to get the best rewards from your red boss at the end of defeating it. So the first one here is basically the MVP reward. So if you are the person who has been doing the most amount of damage, you will get that MVP reward. The second one here is the first attack um, bonus. So if you are the person who summon out the red boss and you do the de first damage, yes, you will instantly get it. And of course, the last one, which is the most common reward that most people will get uh, just by helping your friends, it's the participation reward. All right, so yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, anything else on here? Yes, this is the other thing that we need to focus on. In any event out there, you will normally see this, which is the episode plate bonus. For this particular event, they have implemented two more bonuses to help you get the amount of damage you need and of course the, um, the points boost that you need for calculating the amount of damage you will do to the boss. So we have the Valkyries, so these three Valkyries are the ones selected for this particular bonus. You just need to um, arrange your Valkyries, um, whichever one of the three that you want to use for the particular event. I went ahead with Brera's one because Brera's Valkyrie actually has the best stats among the three. So yeah, and of course, you just need to have Cheryl in your team wearing any of these three costumes to gain this bonus. So this is pretty, pretty fantastic stuff. So. Yeah guys, if you guys aren't familiar with how to sort your Valkyrie, um, we're gonna I'm gonna teach you how to do so right now. Oh, oh the boss got defeated. Wow, that is fast. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so as you can see, EX raid bosses um, give a lot of better rewards. 
and that kind of stuff. So yeah, fantastic stuff. Make sure you call for help whenever there's an EX Raid boss um, right now. So yeah, so I wasn't able to show you how to to arrange the um, Valkyries, but let's do that by summoning another Raid boss. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. I get to summon a second Raid boss within the tutorial video. Alright, so this is a normal boss. So as you can see, the normal boss has a 6 hour duration, which is pretty fantastic for those who want to grind the Macross Cannon. Alright, so here we go. <coughs> Alright, so you can actually play the Macross uh, Red Boss, sorry. You can actually fight the Red Boss with two different options. You can choose the 1 AP range and of course there's the 3 AP range. Now. Playing the 3 AP range definitely is going to help you out because it's going to give you a 300% bonus. Um, while the one, 1 AP one just basically gives you like a 5% bonus um, to your uh, total score, that kind of stuff that, that is going to do damage towards the raid boss itself. Now, the choice of playing whichever um, option, the 3 AP or the 1 AP is very crucial within this event. Now, if you're just dishing out damage and wanting to clear raid bosses as fast as possible, if, if, now this is a very big if, if you have a lot of singing stones to spare, you are definitely going to go with the 3 AP way because that's the fastest way you can actually grind raid bosses and move on to the next one. Now, if you're like me, if you are a person who has no, uh, not much money to spend on the game or have no money to spend on the game at all because you're unable to buy the singing stones from the store, the 1 AP way is the best way to go and it is the most efficient way to charge your Macross Cannon for cheap. Because every time you finish a song, alright, uh, like I showed pre previously, or if I've not shown it, I will show it now you will actually gain a 5% charge for your Macross Cannon. And like I mentioned earlier, I think I did, um, there is a rare chance that you will gain a 7% chance. Um, uh, uh, no, not, not a 7% chance. You will gain a 7% boost to your Macross Cannon. Uh, it's a pretty slim chance, but it does happen. Now, there is another way that you can charge your Macross Cannon, and that is... Um, through your decor room. Now there is a statue that has the captain's medallion on it. Um, through the time of the day, uh, it will gain a charge and you can charge your Macross Cannon for 1%, 2%, 3%, depending on how far you've upgraded that um, medallion in your decor room. Now there is a hidden way of uh, charging your Macross Cannon. Well, it's not exactly hidden, but I don't know if you've noticed it. I will have a video clip here showing it happen. Now, this ball of light will float up towards your Macross Cannon and will charge your Macross Cannon by 1%. Every time, now listen carefully, every time a friend assists you with your Red Boss. So yes, helping your friend with a Red Boss is helping them as well. So it will entice them to help you because you help them. <laughs> I hope you understand what I'm saying. This game, or rather this event, is all about assisting each other. So help each other, make sure you do not make people hate you in person because you do not assist them. So guys, we're going to tap and go into the um, Diva selection page. I, I'm going to show you guys how you you can change your Valkyrie if you've never changed it before. Now, okay, so if you notice there's this Valkyrie image here, alright? If you hold down onto it, it's definitely going to show you the details of the Valkyrie and of course the stats for the Valkyrie. Now, you can change the Valkyrie by tapping on it. And of course, they'll show you the full range of series within the Macross generations. And of course, you can change the Valkyrie accordingly. So I'm going to go with Brera because if you take a look, Alto's plane is just 210 attack and 200 life, while Brera's is 215. So Breras is actually better, while of course Basara's Fire Valk is the same attack stats as Breras, but it has lousier um, HP. Uh, so definitely not something you want to use, unless you want to go with the... I don't think the Ita version of the Fire Valk is included in the setup because the image is not there. So Breras, um, 
you know, um, Lucifer is definitely the way to go. So select it by tapping the pink button. You're going to change to this Valkyrie. Alright, so that's it. And you will gain the bonus. So if you tap the bonus page, there we go. We have the 5% bonus because of the Valkyrie. Oh, it's the Ita version. Okay, so the Ita version of Basaras is actually better than Breras. So if you did get this from the previous event, this was a free Valkyrie. Um, yeah, go ahead and use it. It's actually better than Vera's Valkyrie. I didn't notice it was the Ita version. <laughs> and of course, there is the other uh, bonuses that you can get from episode plates and the costume. Make sure you equip your divas with the required episode plates and of course with the required costume um, so far. So, alright, I'm going to exit out here because we are done explaining about the event page itself. Alright, so now we are going to talk about... Um, the best, uh, there we go, we have a friend having their red boss summoned out and they're asking me for help. So yeah. Um, Alright guys, so I forgot to mention something <laughs> or recording my main line of video. Uh, okay, we're back here in the uh, red boss um, battle selection screen. Alright, so if you guys wondering, sometimes when you play the live, the songs get randomized for you. Now that's not true, yes the song is randomized for you whenever you complete a life uh, against a red boss but that doesn't mean you cannot choose the song that you want to play. So as you can see there's arrows bobbing at the side of the, the song icon here, you just have to you know, swipe or you tap them accordingly to the direction you can change the song. Alright, so let's get back to the main line of the video. We're gonna talk about the the sorting bar here all right so you can tap that blue button all the way to the left you can sort your your red bosses by the, uh, the enemy rank you can sort them by the hps you know the highest the lowest um then of course there's the time duration then of course the amount of people participated then you have your different red boss ranking the normal ones the ex ones you can sort them by s ranks triple s ranks so on and so forth and whether you have participated or not participated at all, that kind of stuff, so you're going to reset this. Alright, so that's pretty much easy. Then of course, the other button here in the middle is basically to, to go in ascending order, descending order, so on and so forth. Refresh button, I don't need to explain, it's pretty much simple. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how it will look like um, when the participation button is lit up so I'm gonna play a song this part of the video is definitely going to be cut out um, for audio reasons of uh, copyright stuff so yeah it'll, it'll be just a moment because I'm gonna fast forward this section right here so I'm gonna change my team all right we are done with the red boss Okay, we're gonna claim all the rewards, then of course, they're gonna show you how much damage you actually do to the red boss. Now, the thing about this page you have to take note of is, uh, I did not fulfill the um, live appeal um, for request because it requires you to full combo clear, which I broke, apparently. So, <laughs> yeah, um, they'll calculate your total score from the song, then of course your Valkyries, um, damage, output and of course your you know appeal bonus you've got your, your stacked up bonus at the beginning and of course the yeah the the you know the AP type bonus that was implemented so because I used the one AP there was a five percent boost normally if you chose the three AP way it'll be a three hundred percent boost of course then they'll take the four digits of the first four numbers of the entire calculation after going through all the percentage boost and that will be the amount of damage they actually do to the red boss itself so yeah guys let's take a look at the damage here we go so as you can see and then we have the five percent charge now this is the normal charge that you will get from playing a red boss now listen carefully this is my tip to you guys um again if you are a person who does not have singing stones to spare for this event, play the 1 AP way. This is the fastest way you can get your Macross Cannon charge and do the amount of damage towards the red boss as fast as possible. Because, like I said, this event requires you to rank high 
by doing the most amount of damage. So Macross Cannon is your best friend. Alright. Okay, so there we go. We have the pop-up um, option for sending friend requests once again in the normal way after playing alive. So let's send it to everybody. Alright, so these are the friends once again uh, who has received my request. Hopefully those people are active. Alright, so now we can see the difference between participation and non-participation. As you can see, my red boss, the bottom right hand corner is now lifted up and it says I've participated. The people participation uh, quantity has increased to 1 and of course, the friends one is not lighted up and therefore we can actually go ahead and help them out uh, soon enough. Alright guys. Um, that's pretty much all the info I have, I guess, um, for this current event. Hopefully everything is uh, helpful to you. Um, oh yeah, there's one other tip um, that I probably want to suggest when it comes to your decor room and uh, upgrading your captain's medallion uh, statue or, you know, the, the, the item that actually helps you charge your uh, Macross cannon in your decor room. We're going to talk about, uh, this is probably a tip towards the decor room itself so uh, pay close attention guys now if you are not familiar with the decor room you should definitely go watch my video the videos are all in the uh, playlist for old time across tutorials uh, yeah so as you can see the the statues have the icons above means they have something to be claimed let's go claim them by tapping this button which lets you claim all of them at one go uh, you can actually claim them individually but why would you want to do that you know <laughs> so here we go we're going to claim the macross cannon charge so i do have a one percent boost all right we're going to tap the, uh, the captain's medallion uh, trophy or stand in the room and it says here that you know i have 13 more decors to go to leveling this up so it's going to probably give me a 4% uh, full charge at the end of 12 hours so that's pretty fantastic so at the moment I have 107 decor items so I need uh, 13 more to go so yeah that's going to level up now how can you actually get that 13 items easily um, you know because some of the decor items are pretty expensive like furniture and all this requires 500 decor points and all that kind of stuff so let's take a look at the decor purchasing page um, as you can see we have the phrases tab interior tab and of course your wallpaper tab for your rooms wallpaper <laughs> so the wallpaper one is the most expensive where it requires you to have 5000 dp as you can see i've only got 3000 dp um, available for use now what I want to do is skip all the interior and skip all the wallpaper because the fastest way you can actually level up those statue is by buying the phrases yes the words that your divas use um, when, it, when they are bouncing around in your decor room uh, let's see if I can show you guys here um, if you have the divas bouncing around the decor room, they should have bubbles popping up if you have selected them. There we go. So Makina goes Kawawa. All right. So you can change, you can change the text bubbles um, here. All right. So purchasing the chat bubbles is the fastest way to power up your decor um, medallions or sta statues in the room itself. So. I'm going to fast forward an example, so I'm just going to buy 13 of this. As you can see, I'm currently purchasing all the Macross Frontier stuff because they are belonging to Cheryl and Ranka. So I'm fast forwarding it here, um, just for your references. So I just need to buy 13 of them. Alright, I should have enough right now to see it level up. Okay, there we go. So the Captain's Medallion is uh, capable of leveling up. So we're going to level it up. Alright, so now it's able to produce a 4% charge at the end of 12 hours, which is fantastic. So it's going to take another 55. Uh, actually, I went, uh, went over by 5 items. So it's going to, uh, initially, from level 4 to level 5, it takes about 60 decor items. So you get the drift. So anyway, guys, this, this really concludes pretty much it on how to handle the Red Boss event for the um, Utah Macross game. Um... There is one thing that I speculate very hard on. It's basically the 
uh, I would say the duration of the event because let's go to the chaos exchange page as you can see I have 850 medals on standby for exchange um, if you guys do not know that this is where you claim all the rewards for your um, current event they, as you can see there's a total of five episode plates that you can obtain because the quantities are stated here I got one two and two now there is also the exclusive icon uh, for the decor room you can only gain icon from this method so 600 medals is pretty hefty uh, if if you're actually aiming towards the you know the episode plate reward you know 600 medals is kind of a uh, do i want to use it or not now the event is going to end today but the medals apparently are i would say the medals can be kept for a very long duration of time because the medals don't have an expiration which is pretty fantastic um but why do i say that there is no expiration well because if you go out to the page any medals or any items that are perishable will have a timer at the top now these medals have no timer at the top and what more what more interest uh what more interesting fact there is um the, the 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 episode plates that have timer at the top have different dates of expiration now as you can see the the first row of episode plates which has one quantity ends on the 31st of march at 11 59 pm japan time while the second row ends on the 30th of april and of course the last one ends on 31st of may which is pretty interesting so it shows that even if you can't claim the first one now you can save up your medals for a future you know episode play <laughs> expiration Icon doesn't expire so Icon can be obtained anytime whenever you want so in the future if they do have more um, Macross mascots appearing in the chaos exchange like guvava and maybe lin min mei's doll um you know that kind of stuff so uh Kululu is actually added in the decor room as default so that's pretty fantastic so we've only got three more generations of macross mascots to go so it just shows that you know they're gonna hold this red boss event when and so wherever they want to whenever there's extra time slot in between just to keep players playing continuously that kind of stuff so yeah this is probably what you can expect and that's one of the reasons why the full radar doesn't have exp expiration as well uh, normally the event tickets from any event that requires tickets and all this um, they expire along with the event so that's pretty interesting now do you want to actually use your points to claim the rewards for the valkyrie tune up i would say no Please don't, please don't use your medals to claim the rewards for Valkyrie tune up parts because these parts can actually be obtained through normal play from the Red Boss event itself. As you can see, I've gotten enough for maybe a level 2 tune up. Usually, they only require 30 pieces of that particular gear. So, yeah, the only things that you actually need to change is the exclusive decor item and, of course, the episode play itself. Um, so yeah, pretty fantastic stuff. So anyway, that really concludes the end of all the information I have to share with you. This is probably what happens when you just go with the the, the win, uh, just swing with it and just make a video out of your memory. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's probably why I tried to end this video three times and I couldn't because I just recalled that I did have to say something about certain things. Uh, yes, guys, this really, really is the conclusion right now. This is all I have to say about the current Red Boss event in Uta Macross. Hopefully, you guys had a uh, full understanding of uh, the whole event. And maybe by the time the second round of Red Bosses uh, start, you are definitely more prepared to handle the particular event itself. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for listening to me blab for I think probably an hour <laughs> and hopefully you guys find all the information uh, useful let me know by hitting the like button to this video uh, of course comment your thoughts about the event uh, down below and of course do join us on the Macross Spacetime Day Culture Facebook group and of course uh, follow me on my Facebook uh, YouTube page as well all the links are in the description down below and I'll see you guys soon in the next 
full time across tutorial video or maybe if you enjoy gameplays, I do gameplays as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!